Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our April 2nd new releases. Um, we have just the usual this week with two new kits and some foil sheets. If you are into like woodsy, woodland, nature, green, almost like camping vibe kits, um, then the kits this week are definitely for you, especially the foil as well. The foil matches both of these kits really, really well. Um, let's do the kits first and then you can see the foil just so you can see kind of from there. I don't know. Also, I did this to my table and I'm so upset. <laughs> I need to figure out how I'm going to cover that up because it is not cute, but that's okay. You will survive. Anyway, let's get started first with um, Woods. Both of these kits are in Champagne Gold Foil this week. Um, they have their add-ons and then the foil, like I said, this week goes really well with both of these kits. Um, the foil you can pick up in gold to match the kits or you can pick it up in other foil colors to like match any other kits you might have. But yeah, so let's start with Woods. So this is very like actual like woodsy. Um, it's perfect for camping or if you just like woods like cottage core vibes in general especially like the scrapbooking kind definitely for you here we have this little scene with a squirrel and a tree stump and a deer and like i think that's a hedgehog and then some foiled birds and we have of course a floral box this little scrapbook box here with like this flower taped down this little scene and some layering we have more layering going on here little raccoons looking out from the sides of that tree and then a little squirrel. It's like the dogs knew I was gonna say squirrel and I just decided they were going to bark. Um, the quote says, a walk in nature walks the soul back home. Another floral box, another floral box, another scrapbooky box with a foiled stroke and some, a foiled pine cone and mushroom with a little tree. And then another nature scene down here with a moose and some trees and tree stumps so like i said both these kits this week are greenish so as you can expect for the color palette green a lot we have some neutrally colors there too though champagne gold here we have the headers some little mushroom confetti of course foil florals and your lace the usual here this kind of looks like handmade paper a little in the texture of course like the watercolor shapes here is the bottom washi so we have these foiled florals a little bit different than usual um, instead of like tracing around the florals it's just like their own individual flowers which is really pretty I like to mix it up sometimes and then we have some mushrooms in the washi same colors, some deco here with the tree stump and some animals, and then your date covers. Here is the first foil add-on for this week. So firstly, we have the mushroom washi and the dividers. Um, I say this all the time, but just as a reminder, if you don't want to use like the washi as is, or like the headers as is, this is a really good pattern where you can just like cut it off and use them as deco if you want especially since this is on transparent mat we have some of these like tree slices some branches some different stumps and logs some mushrooms and then some trees here is the deco sheet um we have a raccoon of course a little hedgehog here a wolf in a squirrel and a bird we have a tree a log sleeping bear, bird, and a bunny. Here's the journal add-on. The stamps here are those two little forest scenes from the full boxes. Here are, here are, here is the floral deco sheet. Um, these florals, as you can probably tell from like the full boxes and like the whole kit from before, aren't like your typical florals. Um, but I still think that they will be fun to play with. They're kind of like more like, like bunched up bouquet, sort of like as if they're getting ready to go in a vase situation. So there's that. This um, floral trim is like very airy. 
And then, of course, the alcohol ink swatches. Let's move on to the second kit this week. Like I said, another green kit. This one features a little bit more yellow, and this is, like, less in the forest and more, like, just, like, being out in nature. So, like, if you're in, like, a field or just, like, on the outskirts of a forest, I don't know um, if that makes sense, but... Um, the florals are done a really similar way in this kit. This is more like adventure, go outside to read a book or like go for a picnic, whatever. You have this girl sitting in the field over here, your florals, you have some mason jars with florals coming out of them, or mason jars being used as vases, I guess you could say. The quote says, I exist as I am, and that is enough. The font on that is so pretty. Little book hanging out here you have like a little foil fairy with some pixie dust coming off and of course foiled ladybugs um here you have kind of like a picnic blanket laid out with a book and a foiled tree branch a backpack with a map and some mushrooms and then another floral box color palette on this one's a little it's pretty similar it's a little bit lighter i think um and it has more of like a yellowy hint to it especially since these flowers do feature a lot of yellows. Here is the functional page where we have this really pretty like floral, foiled floral divider situation. Um, like I said, more yellows pulled in on this one. And you can see more here on the, um, the bottom washi. Again, really loving the like foiled washi here. The washi on these two kits is so pretty, I feel like. And then, you, of course, you have your deco here, which features more like butterflies and birds, books, flowers, stuff like that, versus the other kit was a lot more like trees and animals. But I feel like the like kind of like woods theme that we have for the foil matches both of these really well, like I said. So here, of course, more flowers. You have your ladybugs, mushrooms, some of those fairies, mason jars, and some florals. Here is the deco add-on. So we have this girl reading here, some butterflies, bird umbrella, the backpack, a little like composition here, another bird and butterfly, and then this girl with a backpack on. Here is the journal add-on. And the floral deco add-on. This floral deco is, again, different than like your traditional, I guess I would say. Um, but I feel like it definitely leans more traditional than the woods floral deco, so. And then this floral trim is like more like meadowy. And then here is the ink, alcohol ink add-on. So those are this week's two kits. Moving on to the foil, we'll just flip through this. Not super quick, but a little. It's really driving me nuts, I'm gonna cover it. Um, so first here we have the acorn mini deco. So you have acorn clusters and individual acorns as well. We have an assortment of tree stumps, mushrooms, this goes with either of those two kits honestly. Here is the forest scenes and elements. Down here you can see some like woodland creatures. Here we have forest animals. This is perfect for that woods kit I feel like. We have some acorn foliage. The sheet's actually an oops. So, my bad for not checking that. Um, and then next we have the, the forest dividers, um, which you have mushrooms, like, I guess like the outline of mushrooms, you have some leaves and then that mushroom confetti divider. And then to go with those dividers, we have the forest washi, which has like those same two different types of mushrooms and then the um, leaves. 
So that is everything for this week's new releases. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy them. I feel like woodsy, like woodland kits are like very hit or miss. Like you're really like either into them or you're not into them. And I'm pretty into them. This one, like I said, the woods one is a lot more like woodsy. <laughs> I would hope so. The name's woods. Um, is a lot more woodsy than exist. Um, but they are like very like green and nature leaning kits. So yeah, that is everything that I have for you guys this week. I hope that you enjoy this week's new releases. Let me know what you think down below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.